Hey guys, hi, thank you so much for joining me. This is Healthier with Amy L. And I'm super excited to get to talk to you today. It is a yucky, miserable day outside. It's just kind of sprinkling. So today I thought I'd give you an update on my personal training and then what I've learned about running in the rain. So um, just as an update, I know it's been two weeks since I gave you an update. And um, remember in that last video, I told you I was going to do a nine mile and I did. Yay me. And then um, we had the day off here on Monday. So I decided to go ahead and push my long run to this Monday. And I had been looking at the training plan and I saw that my training plan, um, again, it's a run walk one and it only goes to, I'm sorry, the way I had it planned out, it only goes to 20 to 22 miles in anticipation of the 26. And I started thinking that every time I go out for a run, it's the two miles extra that are killing me. So when I did four and then went to six, it was four, five, and six that were really, really, really hard. And then when I went from um, six to seven, it was mile six that was hard. And then seven to nine, it was mile seven, eight, and nine. And then, um, so I just think that to feel better on actual marathon day, I need to push it from 22 to kind of 24. So that the last two miles are really hard is what, I mean, the whole thing is going to be hard, right? But the last two super, super hard um, instead of the last four being super, super hard. Um, so I'll see if that seems like a good idea when I'm actually doing it in December. But right now I thought I needed to bump up my mileage just a little bit. So instead of doing 11 on Monday, as was the plan, I did 13. I did 13 miles on Monday um, and it was really hard um, and I could not have gone another step. So I can't believe I'm only halfway there, but um, you know, it's a long way since when I started in August where three miles seemed really hard to in just about what, five or six weeks. Now it's 13. That seems really hard. And three is easy. So it's amazing what you guys can do, what we can all do with just a little bit of concentrated effort. So I'm hoping that by January, if you're watching this later, um, it's October 4th today. Um, so, and the race is January 12th. So I still have time. I'm hoping that I'll get there, but it was raining. So I have a couple of things just to say about running in the rain or working out in the rain. Um, first of all, there's a difference between drizzle and rain and a storm. If it is a storm and it is lightning, you need to go back home right? Like you need to get to a safe place and call somebody or whatever. Um, I'll tell you that what I did with this. So I almost always run with a little speed belt. These are little belts. I don't know if I've showed this to you before. Um, they're little belts. There's all different kinds. Um, and this pouch expands quite a bit, but they kind they don't bounce. They lay flat, kind of tight up against you, and then they don't bounce. Um, and mine, I'm, I'm trying to get a larger one, but my phone is really big. And if I put this phone in, which I can do, I can't put anything else in. So I tend to not run with my phone. I'm trying to get it. See the phone. I mean, I can get it in. The phone fits. That's a big expansion, right? Um, but but then nothing else will. So if I'm running around kind of close to my house, like within um, five or six miles, sometimes I won't take my phone. But because it was storming so much, I made sure I took some money with me. So that way, if it was storming, I could get somebody um, to either take me home or to let me borrow their phone. Um, but some money is a, a good idea. Um, the other thing that... Um, so if it's if it's lightning, go home. Um, but if it's drizzle, great, because it just cools you off. Um, if it's rain, which is what happened for the first six miles of my 13 this time. And at mile four, it was raining so hard, I could not see well, um, like it was hard, hard rain. So here's what I've learned. First, chafing becomes more of an issue when water is involved, either sweat or rain. So um, I used cheapo Vaseline. 
um, on any place that might chafe. Um, and I also have body glide. Um, that is also good. But so if you're running in the rain, remember about chafing. Second, um, in my speed, my speed belt is water resistant, but not waterproof. So I made sure I put my electronics in a Ziploc bag. And I'm going to do this on every run now, um, any kind of a long run where there might be rain. I'm going to always just put it in here just for that little bit of extra protection. Um, then I run with Bluetooth um, but I wasn't sure if the Bluetooth connection was going to work well. So in my speed belt, I put a, a pair of corded um, phones as well, just um, earphones, just in case the Bluetooth connection failed. It, and just it fizzled a little bit, but it didn't go out. So I was able to keep that. But then my best thing about running in the rain, and it makes sense to me now why so many runners run with a hat. Because so I wore a hat. Um, and, and here's why, because when it's raining and you're soaked and the rain gets in your eyes, it's awful. It's awful. And there's no dry spot on you to be able to wipe it off. If you have the hat on, the rain kind of comes here and then you can still see. Um, so I, I think that a running hat is a really, really good idea. This is just Actually, it's a Disney cruise hat is what it is. Um, but, um, you know, you see runners with visors and stuff on. I thought that was just for the sun. But now I'm thinking that maybe it's the rain. So anyway, there you go. There's some quick tips on if you're going to exercise in the rain. Um, but you know what? The other thing that was really good was that I did the WW thing about three good things. So as I was running in the rain and thinking, oh, this is miserable, I started trying to think, what's good about this? And I thought, well, it really cooled it off. So I'm not as hot. Um, and I thought um, it makes it less crowded when I'm running. And but then the best thing I thought was, and then I have a really good story, because not only did I do 13 miles, but I did it in the rain. So thinking about three good things can kind of shift your mindset, just like we do in workshops. Anyway, guys, thanks. Have a great day. Bye.